Episode 31, The Red Field. Capio Secundus parts company with the Fellowship. Once away from them, he revels in the memory of murdering his longtime lover, Neria. He has now reduced her to the skull he compulsively strokes, a trapped soul he may torture at will thanks to his foul craft of death taming. Tesserin, Warden of the Storm, has stepped aside, clearing the way for the Fellowship to continue towards their objective. He offers to protect the relatively fragile Vibius, second mate of the ship they came on while the party seeks its goal. Heeding Tesserin's advice, the party recuperates, allowing Lord Titus a chance to regain some of his depleted spiritual essence. While they make camp, Marcus draws to himself a remarkable visitor in a dream, the spirit of Jason Tenderheart. The former champion of the goddess of justice holds a brief conversation with Marcus, whom he now refers to by the title of Emissary. Herein, Jason explains what he can of the complex nature of the gods in the short time he has. Upon waking, Wesa and the others notice that the enemy camp of Barolus seems more orderly than before. Wesa has a bad feeling that this means that their ally, young Jason of Macaria, has at last been subdued. Pressing on, the Fellowship enter the Red Field, of which Tesserin had warned them. Each member of the Fellowship face their doppelganger, some with more success than others. Nilishly, in particular, doesn't defeat her double. Instead, she makes a powerful case for why their shared rage must be controlled and directed, relating to her experience having found love. At the very least, all of the mirror images are dealt with. The defenders of Geramentum press on.